Hello and welcome. I am Vakas Nabi from Zendar Tech. As you know, there are digital advancements today at their peak. Therefore, various advances and cyber threats on a big level have also occurred from time to time around the world. These cyber threats have different forms and are very miscellaneous. People use various methods and most people have suffered from this. So there are various types of email attacks used by attackers to abstract the personal information of users. This important information includes login authentication, bank details or any other informative data. So there are two types of email attacks. The one is phishing and the second is wishing. So first let's talk about phishing. Phishing is a type of email attack in which the stealer tries to get hold of the user's important data in a fraudulent way. For example, by using electronic communication, your data is stolen from the related Have Faith Incorporation. Assaulters design emails to get a group of provide a link to click and insert the virus code on the computer. For example, bank transaction password from the people, thieving login credentials, etc. So let's talk about wishing. Wishing is a cyber attack in which stealing is done by using voice communication. Voice communication is used to steal important information from users. In wishing, the assaulter devices the target to provide the delicate data through voice call by fooling the employee from the trustable company. For example, calling the users and asking bank ATM OTP a password. Or asking for the bank account UPI pin etc so that is wishing so let's understand the difference between phishing and wishing as in phishing assault is done through email to a large number of people while in wishing assault is done through voice communication to a large number of people sufferers need in phishing suffer needs to click on a various link while in wishing sufferers need to tell the information by themselves through voice communication in phishing, it is an automatic assault, while in phishing, it is non-automatic assault. The assaulter has sent various emails at a time in phishing, whereas in phishing, a voice attack is done by the assaulter only a single time. Phishing is more preciseness than wishing. And also currently, phishing is used frequently. The phishing is done previously, but presently also, some assaulter use this technique to fraud the people. As assaulters who hack the information use Using phishing are mainly professional hackers while scammers as you know scammers are not a professional hacker some of the crucial phishings are sphere phishing clone phishing and whaling etc while wishing take place through numerous mediums such as video calls through skype zoom etc the common attacks of phishing and wishings are going on through a call to win some prizes or lottery etc and to claim these prizes they'll ask you for your otp or specific number however you can take some steps to avoid these scammers calls like block the numbers or report them however sometimes scammers steals the identity from our phones therefore this makes it more difficult to find out that they are authentic or not so now let's talk about sphere phishing sphere phishing is an email or electronic communication fraud that targets a single person company or organization cyber criminals may plan to install mass malware on a targeted user's machine in addition to stealing data for nefarious objectives. An email appears to be from a reliable source but it directs the unwitting receivers to a fraudulent website containing malware. These emails frequently employ deceptive strategies to capture the attention of the recipients. The FBI for example has cautioned against spear phishing schemes posing as emails from the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children. There are some common techniques of sphere phishing which are BEC business email compromise clone phishing and whaling now BEC business email compromise also known as CEO fraud this approach involves hackers spoofing a top executives email account they then utilize this access to ask additional worker for login credentials money and sensitive information such as other executives senior staff legal teams and trusted vendors and partners a successful BEC assault allows a hacker to get full access to a top executive's account which can have devastating consequences and result in significant financial losses for a company. 
Now in case of clone phishing assaults, hackers construct a near identical duplicate of a valid email message in order to dupe recipients into believing it is real. The message is usually sent using a legitimate looking email account that uses a typo squatted domain or a bogus URL to make the message appear legitimate. It will however contain a malicious file or hyperlink that directs the target to a cloned website with a fake name in order to dupe them into divulging critical information. Now in case of whaling, the attacks against high profile persons such as C-level executives, celebrities and politicians are also common. Whaling is comparable to sphere phishing in that it takes a high risk strategy. Now we will look how to prevent sphere phishing. Since these assaults are so well tailored, traditional security typically fails to stop them. As a result, detecting such attacks is growing increasingly difficult. Businesses, governments and even charitable groups can be severely harmed by a single personal error. Fraudsters can use stolen data to divulge commercially sensitive information, influence stock prices, or commit spinach. Furthermore, spear phishing assaults can utilize malware to hijack computers, forming massive networks known as botnet that can be used to launch denial of service attack, DOS attack, or DDoS attack. Employees must be informed of the hazards, such as the likelihood of receiving fraudulent emails in order to combat spear phishing attacks. For example, a company can create regulation that prevent payments from being completed without many steps of authorization, confirmation over the phone or signatures from various persons. This will lower the chances of key executives or suppliers being successfully impersonated. Separate workstation can also be used for email and web surfing, as well as invoicing and payment chores. This may reduce the chances of computers being compromised with malware that targets banking, financial, or payroll data. That's how you prevent yourself from spear phishing. And this is all about phishing, wishing, and their types. I hope you like this video and you may get informative as well. If it is, then hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon and set it to all. By this means, goodbye. See you in the next one.